Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Vano. So today on Dude Glam, I'm gonna be reviewing the newly released fragrance from Kayali. This is their Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21 fragrance. Just hit the market. I cannot wait to try this. I was really surprised, honestly, that they were gonna be dropping another summer fragrance. I was already living for Sweet Diamond, and then all of a sudden, boom, it felt like out of nowhere, this launched, and I'm totally here for it. Everything you're gonna see today is all my first impressions, my first thoughts, so let's just go on this journey together. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love having everyone on here and following the Duke Them journey, and give this video a big thumbs up, and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you wanna know more about the new Kayali Utopia fragrance and all my thoughts and opinions on it, then keep on watching. I don't know when it became July 2021, but here we are. I hope everyone has been having a really good year thus far, and let's make the rest of this year even better. And why not add a fun new summer fragrance to everyone's life while we go through the rest of 2021. So like I said in my intro, I am gonna be reviewing the newly released Kayali Utopia Vanilla Coco 21 Eau de Parfum. This is their third Eau de Parfum, intense, meaning the juice and everything in there is much more concentrated. It's gonna last longer. And let me tell you, I've been wearing Sweet Diamond ever since I reviewed it and that lasts a very long time. Sweet Diamond does not disappoint. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Now, this is what the box looks like. It is so beautiful. And what's different about this is that they changed up the foil packaging again. So it's got this nudish metallic color. And then of course the emblem is also in that same nude color. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but the actual box itself almost has this like sparkly sheen to it, which is really, really pretty. Here's a comparison for you. So this is the Sweet Diamond and this is Utopia. These are what the boxes look like. These are the different colors. And again, Again, I, I don't really know if you can see this on camera, but Utopia definitely has more of like a sheen to it. Overall, it's beautiful packaging and it still stays within the Kayali family. And then of course, on the back here, you have some of the main notes and they are pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon. On the top notes, we have honeysuckle, pear blossom, Italian lemon, and coconut. The middle notes have jasmine, gardenia, tuberose, and amaranth. And the base notes have sandalwood, patchouli heart, vanilla bourbon, and musks. The main note in this is going to be the coconut so i'm really hoping that it's going to be that just ultimate beachy banana boat vibe coconut life that i've just been wanting utopia vanilla cocoa is an eau de parfum intense with the fragrance of creamy sandalwood and sweet white florals are topped with milky coconut then whipped together with vanilla bourbon to evoke that sense of freedom from reality transporting you to your perfect world your utopia all right so let me just take this out of the box oh this is total just like summer nude tan vibes. It's just gorgeous. I hope that the camera can pick up this beautiful kind of nude foil. I'm gonna do a comparison for you guys right now. So this is what the two foiled bottles look like. This is obviously Sweet Diamond and this is Utopia. There they are side by side. And just for comparison, so you can all see, I'll show you what these look like. So here's what the 100 mil looks like. This is my Musk, the 50 mil. And then here is what the travel size looks like. So these are the three sizes of bottles that you get when purchasing from Kayali. I just love how these bottles look. They're just little gems, they're diamonds. I feel like I'm in the cave of wonders or something, just collecting jewels and gems. They are beautiful pieces of art. All right, so let's go ahead and open this and see what this smells like. Here we go. Let me spray some on my arm here. Mm. Let me try and describe this for you. So as I take in the fragrance, I really get that beautiful bouquet of the honeysuckle and the jasmine and all those florals. But as the scent lingers in me a little bit more, then I start to smell the coconut, then I start to smell the vanilla. So it changes as it moves through my senses. If Sweet Diamond is the sexy sister in this entire collection, then Utopia is like the sexy older sister to Sweet Diamond. Does that make sense? If you haven't tried Sweet Diamond, it's a lot more spicy and a lot more kind of vibrant and vivacious, 
Whereas Utopia, you get like a very kind of laid back, relaxing, dreamy feel. But Sweet Diamond is much more kind of like pow in your face. You get more energized from Sweet Diamond, if that makes sense. And with Utopia, it relaxes you almost in the way that you would think like lavender just kind of puts you in that dreamy state. Utopia definitely does that as the fragrance lingers. The way in which it develops as it moves through the senses is really interesting. Let me just say this, and I know I've said it before in my other Kiali fragrance reviews, which will be linked above, so go check that out. What I really appreciate about Kiali as a brand is that you can almost take in every layer and every note. It's amazing to be able to smell the layers in these fragrances. I have not smelled one fragrance from Kaoli that I have not been impressed by because I can smell every note. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried Kaoli before, if you share these similar thoughts. I know for myself too, like if you go to a department store and you try, I don't want to say like a generic fragrance, but let's just say like a a, a fragrance that's easily accessible to the public. They can be very muddy or they just almost smell like one note. The fragrance doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't really move in the way that it is formed and developed. With Kaoli, you're gonna get like triple the amount of fragrance in just one juice because it's going to keep changing. And that is honestly something that I love so much about this brand. These fragrances are complicated. These fragrances change. These fragrances move with you. I cannot thank this company enough for putting in that component to these juices because it makes them that much more luxurious. It makes them that much more interesting and invigorating and just all around amazing. Also, I wanna let you all know that I'm in no way sponsored by Kaoli. I just really don't have a lot of negative things to say about this company because their fragrances are that good. Like they just are. Now I know that there are definitely gonna be a lot of people out there who would disagree with me and say, if a fragrance is way too intense or if it's too complicated, then it's not for them. And I totally get that because there are also days when I feel that way as well too. And all I wanna do is put on like a, a really just nice essential oil and be out the door and be done with it. Or sometimes not even put on a scent at all because it's just too much for me that day. But overall, if I'm going to wear a fragrance, if I'm gonna, put something on my body and have it mixed with my body chemistry, I want it to have layers. I want it to feel moody and complicated and intricate. And this brand gives me all of that. All right, you guys. So as I'm going through Kaoli's Instagram, they have a post here talking about what's your ultimate Kaoli combo. And they have two combos listed here using Utopia one being Utopia and Sweet Diamond, and the other one being Utopia and Musk. And since I have those two in front of me, I thought it would be fun to combine them and see how that smells for you all. So I already sprayed Utopia on my left arm here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add Sweet Diamond to that. And we'll see how that smells. Oh, let me add one more of Utopia. Oh, you can really smell the spices and the coconut bouncing around. This is something that I need to challenge myself with too. I really need to get more into just experimenting with layers. I feel like that's something I'm still lagging in myself personally. When I put on a fragrance, I really like to just live in that fragrance. It's very hard for me to be like, okay, now I'm gonna add something to that. Now I'm gonna mix it up. I definitely will put on a different fragrance as I go on throughout the day, but by then, the majority of the first scent that I had put on will have gone away. So you don't really smell so much of the first scent, but just going right off the bat and mixing two together is like something I really need to work on. So smelling this right now, it's like a spicy coconut. All right, now on my right arm, I'm gonna spray Utopia and I'm gonna spray musk on top of it. Also musk, you guys, still hands down my favorite scent from this entire collection. Okay, so on this arm, when I applied the musk, it brings out a lot more of the lemon. It's like a very intense lemon with musky undertones. And then on my left arm, it's like a spicy coconut. <laughs> I feel like I'm caught between like a day and a night situation. Utopia and musk would be much more of a day scent only because I'm really smelling that lemon so it is very invigorating. It still retains a lot of that dreamy like quality but the lemon that just pops out when these two are mixed together really is just like, it perks me up. And then bam, the Utopia and Sweet Diamond, this feels like a total summer night vibe scent. Like you're going out to the clubs or you're going out on the town or just whatever it is and you want something that is just pow, in your face, exciting, energetic. It's a very, very 
fun, powerful, intense, sexy scent. Of course, fragrance is always subjective. It doesn't matter if you are a man, a woman, or anyone in between. These can work for anyone. It just depends on what you're looking for. Just because the coconut note in Utopia is the one that's being featured the most doesn't mean that it will always be the one that is like the one that is right in front of you when you layer it with something else. Like I said, when I sprayed it with musk, it was the lemon that came out rather than the coconut. It's still there, but it's more of a supporting role rather than the feature. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that this was informative and fun and helped you get to know Utopia just a little bit more. It is gorgeous, it's beautiful. If you haven't already tried something from Kaali, definitely just go ahead and pick it up and try it for yourself. And if you are someone who has tried Kaali before, then you know the quality that goes into this and you will not be disappointed. Check it out for yourselves. You can buy it at hoodabeauty.com or at Sephora. If you're someone who's still on the fence about this, just know that Kaali does have these 10 ml bottles, so you can go try out one of the fragrances in a smaller size. I'm not sure if Utopia is out yet in a 10 ml. Everything else is, so just go check it out for yourself and see just how amazing this collection is. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate everyone who comes on here and takes the time to watch these videos and experiences this journey with me through music, art, and fashion. Definitely go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.